Have you heard any news about Peter Ivan? What is he doing? I don't I'd love to leave my moody work on.
Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. every cell come on that's it you're all right Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh, 
no. Oh, God! Oh! Uh. 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 What will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. I'd see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I give it here. Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one. That is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy. Take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down. Oh. Oh. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! Two years! You promised me! You left! Well, I need 
giving you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Is everything you do out spy, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn I can handle this. Without. All was tearing down when you could be building things up. Or building yourself up, if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a ball of plum duff. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our dream? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago.
So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate.
¡Alto! And Numuk Awol Yetel Abishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd now be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing, drinking, fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. True. And would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. I tried. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch, all the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside? I do. That won't curse me. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our bureaus and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica! How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary...
Captain Genway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye, the ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. I'm shedding your blood. Here's to your bloody orders. Subdue the world is beyond me. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, 
A toast to my brief tenure as governor of the Bahamas. No less than 300 of our tyrants took the king's pardon and brought guilty to the crown. Yes, for all my successes, his majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Be there not. Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant prigs who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! You are Mr. Ferraro, I take it. I do adore your flippery. Such elegance and color. Grazie, grazie. And how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. once how is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world you couldn't possibly understand my motives cretin you have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine but i do understand i've seen the observatory and i know its power you'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage yes and yet all for a greater purpose to ensure justice, to snuff out lies, and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Hold a moment, Squire. That man there! The Italian! He did it!
It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. the wind.
Here's one still kicking! Who did this? It were a large vessel. The Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter. Didn't say nothing.
on the horizon. Plain British colours. It's Spanish ships there, Captain. This will be a mess if we don't hurry. that needs taking. I'll have to board her myself. Man the guns! There's more fodder for you coming! attention you've paid me. May the best of we two sing praises of the second. Oh, a merry life and a short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. For what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh you're a stoic then. Or perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. 
She of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait, entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again, to open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon, like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Uh, 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 destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me. Captain Kenway! I'm assuming this is the friendliest face you've seen since dropping anchor? Is Havana under curfew on my account? Mm, aye. Torres seems to think someone's coming after him. He's not wrong. A monkey-looking thing? Is that what I think it is? Aye. Watch. Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's... That's by the church. Keep this safe. Just in case. I'll be at the bureau. Good luck.
Disparo, claro. pendiente con el tiburón en el castillo. El señor Torres se va a dar con nosotros personalmente. 